Hello. This is super duper awesome, Mr. Giddy Pops. So today, in this lesson, we're talking about one-on-one -on -one correspondence. So we're going to see how much is too much, how much is just right, or how much is too small. This will lead us to comparing objects according to the number they are, the numbers they are. Okay, let's see the activities here. Hmm. Look at the children and the apples. The children are queuing. What are they queuing for? Uh, maybe they want to get their apples. So let's find out. Will every child get an apple? Will every child get an apple? Have a think. How would you find out? Now, how can we find out? We'll find out how many children are there. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight children. And how many apples? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, way too small. Are they the same? No, they're not the same. They're not the same. They don't have the same amount. So, I'm not sure every child, I'm not sure every child would get the same apple. I mean, we'll get an apple. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So, this girl, let's start from the first. You take this. He takes this. And he takes this. And she takes this. And she takes this. And he takes this. Oh, so there are two people who don't get apples. Sorry, next time, I think we would need to get more apples for them. Hmm. Oh, I love these ducks. Oh, they, they laid some eggs. But how many eggs and how many ducks? Let's see. Will every duck get an egg? Do you think so? First, you need to find out how many ducks and how many eggs. So, have a count. How many ducks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ducks. And let's count how many eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight eggs. Eight ducks and eight eggs. Now, are they the same? Of course they're the same. So every duck will get an egg. Yippee! Oh, what's going on here? The children will need the umbrellas because it's rainy season. It's raining. All right, let's see. Will every child get an umbrella? Do you think so? So let's see. Are there enough umbrellas for every child? So remember, you find out how many children are there. One two, three, four, five, five children. 
and how many umbrellas? Four. One, two, three, four. Oh no. Four is not enough. Four is not enough. So there's no. So there are. The umbrellas are not enough for the children. We need one more umbrella. Sam. Hmm. Sam's friends came for a sleepover and Sam got some donuts. And look at what Sam said. I got exactly one donut for each of my friends. So Sam, so Sam expects that every child will get a donut. But first, how many children are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So you count how many donuts and then have a think. It's Sam, correct? Okay, let's count the donuts. Let's count the donuts. One, two, three. Wow, these donuts are looking so great. So yummy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my. Seven? Seven? There is one more. There's one more donut for the children. Oh, Sam is going to get the seventh one. Sam is going to get one. Oh, so there are seven all together, including Sam. Seven children. Well done, Sam. Yeah, so this is super duper awesome, Mr. Gil Pops. Thank you for learning. It's always fun to learn with you. Bye-bye.